That was so funny. Anya! And once when... Anya! What? It, it's it's like um, a 5.30 in the morning round, right? Yeah? We need to go to online class. Oh, yes, let's go. Let's, do it. let's log in. Here's let's our, log in. Here's wait. our TV, too. Uh, let's sit. I'm okay. going to on it. Okay, thank you. Uh. <gasps> they're calling. They're calling. Oh, no. Oops. I did it. I just cut the call. Yes, let's do it. Uh, let's go in here. Uh. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good, e uh, good morning, group. Did you wake up early? Yes, we did. Good. Um. Okay, girls. So, um. All right. So now, open your textbooks, please. Okay, let's open it. Okay, we're opening. All right. Elsie, it's page number um uh twenty, right? Okay, girl. Page fifty-six. Okay, I found it. Wait, Elsie, wait. Okay, I'll wait. Okay, I opened it. Okay, we opened the pages. All right, girl. So now, um, the, I'm gonna start on the lesson. Okay. So what's the lesson? All right, girls. Are you ready to learn? Yep. Are you ready to learn, girls? All right. So now let's go through the first chapter. My family. Types of family, family tree, living together in a family, get together in a family. All right, so now let's start on the chapter. All right. People who live in the same house and are related to each other are called family. So you know, guys, so now, Elsia, your mother and your dad and you are a family. Anya, similarly, your mom and your dad and you are a family. So the group of people who live together, for an example, this is an example, kids. So this is an example. Oh, okay, we understood. Okay. Yep. All right. So now let's move on to the next line. All members of the family support each other. They care for each other, love each other, and have fun for each other. You know that family. Now, Elsia, suppose if you fell down and your mom or dad cares for you, he's like, "Oh, sweetie, don't worry, I'll just get you off." Like. They cares for you. You can share joys and sorrows with them. The family is the most important and the comfortable thing which you can do everything with them. Okay? Right. Okay. An ideal family is one in which all family members support each other, good and bad times. So, you know, and the family is called an ideal family. Ideal family means that the family will support each other in good and bad ideas. Like, uh, for example, Anya. So now, when you um, are sick, your mom and dad gives attention to you, they take care of you, they support you in good and bad times. So that's an example for ideal family. How many members are there in your family? Write four names and how they're related to. Elsia. Okay, what is your name? My name is Elsia. Your full name, please. My full name is Elsia Frost. Age. Age. Yep, age. What's your age? Oh, my age is six. Relationship. Yourself, okay? See, now you're supposed to. So, my name is Savannah, right? Your teacher name is Savannah. So, now, um, for example, I'll be like, okay, for example, my name is Savannah, and uh, age, you can write anything, whatever is your age. So, yeah, and relationship, myself, because Savannah, I'm myself. So, your relationship is yourself, Elsia. Okay, now it's Anya. Hmm? Anya. Okay. Your name? Anya. Age? Six. Good. Um, um, and then um, your relationship? Myself. Very good, girls. You did such a good job. All right, now, Elsie, let's start on with your family and your relationship. All right, kids. All right, kids. Are we ready now? Yep. Tell. Huh? 
Are you ready now to tell? Yep. Okay. Sorry, girls. Um, actually, I off my camera because they're like background sounds are going up. I'm sorry. Okay. So now, um, Elsia, your mother's name, age, and relationship, and your dad as well. Yep. Um, my mother's um, your mother's name, age, and the relationship. My mother's name is Elsa. Age. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I have frozen Elsa. Yep, her name is frozen Elsa, and age is thirty-six. And her real uh, relationship is herself. No, no, no. Huh? For you, your relationship is for your mother is mother because you're not telling about your mother, and your relationship. For frozen Elsa is more okay. Okay. All right. I'll ask you next time in next class again in science class. All right, Elsie. Now you can tell about your dad about their name, age, and relationship. Okay. First, me. Can I go? Um, Anya, you can tell about your mom's now. Um, my okay. mom's. Then Elsie, I will tell. Okay, my mom's age is 33, and her wow. name is... Huh? Her name, age, then relationship, Anya. Oh, sorry. Her name is Frozen Anna. Her age is 33, and her relationship is... Uh, 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 what is it? What is it? It's for you, silly. Anya, you don't know that your mom is your mom, Anya. So relationship, look now. Okay. Look, you have to write your mom's name, your mom's age, your mom's relationship. Girls, see, listen. Uh, okay. Look, now if you're Anya, you're writing about your mom, you have to write your name, age, and what relationship is between you and her. Mom, right Anya? Oh, I understood, teacher. Yes. All right. So now, girls, um, Elsie, you can start with your dad, and then Anya, you can start with your dad as well. Okay. Okay. So my dad's name is Jack Frost, and <coughs> he's in the age of thirty-eight, and his relationship is dad. His relationship. It's my dad. Elsia, please. I'm getting big at first. It's not his relationship. It's for you. You're only writing it. Oh. Understand? Uh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, Elsia. Anya, no, that's bad. Okay. Um, okay, Anya, how you can do for your dad? Okay. Yeah. So my dad's uh, my dad's name is Christopher. Christopher is his full name, uh, but his name is Christopher. Christopher. Sorry, teacher, I just got confused. My dad's name is Christopher. There's no confusion going in this science class. Okay, I'm sorry, teacher. Okay, so my dad's name is Christoph. He's the okay, age yeah. of. He's the age of 37, and relationship, my relationship of my dad is dad. Okay, that's good, girls. All right, now, if you did well, please practice this little table right here. Okay? Practice this little table. Okay? Okay. Okay, good. Okay, now let's move on to the types of family. Listen to the sentence. A family can be of three types. Smaller or nuclear or a big jo big joint family. So now small or nuclear, it's like your mom, dad, sister, or brothers, you know. Elsia, you have a nuclear family because it's just you, your mom, and your dad. Yep. Now, now actually, Elsia and, Elsia and Anya, you girls have a joint family, a big family. Because Elsia... Her dad, her mom, and Anna, your mom, Anya, and I, right? And your dad, Anya, and you, 
there's six members. Look, now I'll, I'll name all your girls' members. Elsia, Frozen Elsa, Jack Frost, Kristoff, Anna, Anya. See, there's girls as a joint family. But to just tell it in a little normal way, you it's also your girls' family are separated into new queer because Elsia, as example I said, Elsia, Elsa, and Jack Frost, they're a new queer family, but actually you guys are joint family. Family, okay? Okay. All right? Uh, all right. Okay, now let's look at the next point. Okay. A small family is co also called a nuclear family. It consists of parents and one or two children. All the family members look after each other and share joys and comforts each other. All right. Hmm. Anya? Yes? Tell me what is... Uh, a small family can be also called as a wet family. A small family can be uh, also called as a nuclear family. Very good, Anya. All right, Elsia, now it's your turn. Yes. All, all the family members look after each other and share joys and what together? All family members share, uh, share joys and sorrows. Okay, that's also good, but you can tell also come first, okay? Okay. Look at this. Look at this. All small family is also called as nuclear family. It consists of parents and one or two children. All the family members look after each other and share joys and comfort. Okay? Okay. Okay. So as I told you a, bit, a few minutes ago, look here, this is a nuclear family. Okay. Okay, girl? Understood? Yep. Understood. All right. So now let's go to a big, um, a big or joint family. A big or joint family consists of grandmother, grandfather, father, muggle, mother, uncle, aunt, and their children. They live together. In a joint family, every member does his or her share of the work in house. So now look, girls, this is called a joint family. Look how big the family is. Whoa, family that's is. a lot of members, now, teacher. A joint, family. a joint family is like a very big family, which comes of grandmother, grandfather, auntie, uncle, your cousins. Like, example for you girls, you have a big family, even you say your cousins have, your aunt. Uncle, yeah. Teacher, girl. yep, but can I please go to the bathroom? Oh, you you can surely go, Elsie. Yeah, there's no problem. You can go to the bathroom. Thank you. All right, Anya. Uh, well, Elsie is there. Anya, be attentive. Look at the camera. Okay. Uh, really don't want to do online class. So boring. Look there, the teacher. Uh, how hard is it to do this? Hmm. Great, I pretended that I'm, I, I want to go to the bathroom because I don't want to. Seriously. Okay. What should I do now? Hmm, there's nothing to do except for, like, watching videos in my phone. So, I think I'll hide. Elsia's taking ages in the bathroom. Grand, grandfathers and our parents, your mother's parents, and your maternal grandparents. Okay, I'm really getting bathroom. Hmm, maybe I'll just go to the bathroom and then I can just do some makeup. All right, Anya, you understood the point? Yep. All right. Very good. Okay, now let's move on to the family tree. Now look at Anna. A joint family has a family tree like this. Now see, so you can see the grandfather, the grandmother, uncle, aunt, father, mother, cousin, brother, sister. Can you see the family tree? Yep. Yeah? Yeah. All right, and um, once the school opens, I'm going to give an activity about you have to do your family tree. I'll explain to you later. Now let's move on to the paragraph. A okay. family tree is a chart which shows parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, and cousins. 
Tiana, like a family to leave. It's, like, it's like a chart, like you can see. It's like a whole chart of a tree, which you have all your family members, like your father, your mother, uncle, aunt, grandparents, your cousins. So that's like a full chart, like a full nuclear joint family. Understood, Anya? Okay. I'm done my makeup, but it looks so weird. So I think I'm going to wipe it off with the napkin. Where's the napkin? Where's it? I'm not going to show my face. Just going to hide. What if mommy comes? Or whatever. Children born to the same mother at the same time are called twins. Okay. Okay. Twins or may not look alike. Twins look exactly the same. No identity. You'll see, as you've seen in the... Um, uh, Grace's world, the twins, so identical. Like Annabelle and Isabelle, you can see they're identical, so these are identical twins. Like, they're very same, like, totally same. It's like a little Xerox copy. And understood what identical twins are here? Yeah, but Elsia, what just wrong? Oh, yeah, we totally forgot about Elsia. Can you go check her out, please, Anya? I'll wait for you. Okay. Elsia, she's having a tissue paper on her hand. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Um, Elsia, I don't know why she's having a tissue paper with her and wiping it on her face. I don't know why. Um, what's just wrong? Maybe she just washed her face or something like that? Maybe. Can you, like, please go um, tell Elsie that Savannah teacher is calling? Okay. <laughs> Elsia, teacher is calling. Elsia, <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, Anya, I'll tell you the truth. No, no, uh, Savannah, teacher is calling. Okay, I'll come. Coming, Anya, come on. Coming, coming. Elsia, what is wrong? Why did it take a long time? Oh, um, because. Why did it take a long time? Elsia told the truth, and I, by the way, I don't know what did you do. Um, teacher, I'll tell you the truth. What? I actually put a little bit of makeup and wiped it, so that's why I had a paper towel on my hand. Elsia! What? What do you need to do makeovers? Now we're going in the class. Where's your mind? Where's your mind? You don't want to study? Sorry, teacher. I'm so sorry, Elsia. teacher. I'll never do this ever again. I'm so sorry. Hey, for the mistake, Elsia. Your punishment is to write 50, 50 times, I'm sorry, teacher. <gasps> what? Okay, I'll try to write it. Oh, no. You know that Savannah teacher is very strict. Sorry. Next time, don't do this. What, makeovers in the class? They're so young for makeup. Sorry, no. teacher. Oh, no, Use Elsia. Your mind. Now, I don't now care about that anymore. Now, it's time to get into the lesson. One hour later. I listen. Oh. Sorry, girls, I told that. I was speaking about my family. All right, girls, now you understood all the points? Yep. Okay, so good. Okay, everyone, so we'll wind up, uh, wind up the class, children. Please study and um, go through all the chapters and the PPTs and the worksheets, Google. Pop off, everything is fine, and do well for the exam. Bye, kids. Bye. 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 Let's cut with the. Oh, yay! We finally finished online class. That was so tired. Oh, that class was so long. I can't believe it. You put makeup in the middle of this class. Well, I just don't like science, Anya. Um, it is a bit boring, but I thought I have to learn, I have to learn, so I have to learn. Fine, I won't repeat learn. that. Savannah, teacher's so strict. Yeah, so you All right. don't put makeup in the middle of the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Have you guys enjoyed our study routine? Bye. Bye, we'll see you next time.